Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and it seems like the whole thing lately is to talk about this wannabe friends comment from um, a YouTube channel called Logan, or any other YouTube channels. There's a lot of YouTube channels that are botting out this comment, and while I can only find one of them in the history of my channel, I do know that I've been hit with botted comments several times even on videos that were set to publish and were only unlisted and nobody should have had the links to them so it's definitely hit my account too i have seen a lot of botted comments in the past on my channel before all this kind of went really big and if you want a really good explanation of how all this is working i definitely check suggest checking out uh some ordinary gamers as he puts it very well and I agree with a lot of the things he says so one of the things he brings up is a lot of people are mistakenly thinking that oh if you reply to this comment from Logan or some other YouTube channel which I do have a channel here that sent me a comment in a similar fashion um, that's just like I, I found one in my history but I think YouTube has gone in and somehow automated the process of deleting the history of some of these comments because I had far more. I had probably close to 15 or 20 comments that were somewhere based around, oh, great content, let's be friends, or something with wanting to be friends. And this is just like some dead, you know, account. Um, but even then, if you try to search Logan, I don't know if it actually still comes up. It doesn't look like it. It looks like you have to do channel. And yeah, it doesn't come up anymore. So yeah, not at all. So I guess they deleted that account entirely. Um, something I can check. Hold on. I got an idea. So while I thought I found it, this is probably someone who's just taking the chance at the attempt at maybe getting free subscribers by how often this name is being used and people knowing this avatar um, because this is definitely not the original account as these videos should have uh, definitely had over a hundred thousand views if it was the real Logan so give me one second I'm gonna find the original account so unfortunately I was not able to find the original uh, Logan YouTube channel I did manage to find Tribby, but it looks like there's a couple different channels by that name now, and even like one by Logan, like I was showing. It looks like this is the closest to what might be the original Tribby account, which was another account that was doing the same thing. Um, that's exactly what I was expecting, um, is this is just some fake that wants to... Uh, basically get fame from having an account by the same name. I don't think this is the actual Tribby or Logan or whatever. So obviously I showed you guys I had, you know, at least one person leave me that comment and that could be a real person, but I don't think it is. And a way that you can honestly tell usually if it's a, uh, you know, real channel actually leaving you comments or not is the comments. Let's see. If you look, it'll be like, uh, he shows here, Good Video Man E4MN, and it's some random YouTube channel, and they have, you know, just some random characters after the comment, because they're spamming that comment on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, if not thousands of videos. Um, and they just need the random characters at the end to bypass Google's automatic uh, detection of comments for spamming. So, honestly... There's a lot going on that's really weird with this, but if you want to know more, definitely recommend checking out Some Ordinary Gamers video. As far as what I think about it and how it's being done, it's definitely an exploit with two-factor authentication or or uh, something like a plugin that you can use to in uh, or that you would connect your YouTube account to. So something like. Uh, TubeBuddy, and I'm not saying TubeBuddy is exploitable. I don't know. Um, I've used TubeBuddy in the past. I'm not going to connect it now. But usually, if you go to connect it, 
you would see um, you know, a little pop-up screen that asks you for access to your Google account. Hold on a second. I'll actually go through it, but I'm not going to show you guys my emails. So real quick, this is something you'll see with TubeBuddy is a sign-in is required. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll stop it at the screen where it asks for permission. All right, I don't think my email can be seen through that. But anyway, it's a random character, you know, password. No one's going to be able to crack it anyway. So as you can see here on the screen, there is the... It's basically asking for permission to do certain things. Just like when you install an Android app or an iOS app, there's certain permissions that are required. So see, edit, and permanently delete your YouTube videos, ratings, comments, and captions. View YouTube analytic reports for your for your YouTube comment or uh, content and manage your YouTube account. You can get more details by clicking the little I. This app wants permission to do anything you can do on your YouTube account. For example, it will be able to see, edit, delete your videos, playlists, subscriptions, rate videos, as well as post, edit, or delete comments and captions. <coughs> Excuse me. So what that basically means is that's exactly what this plugin can do automatically. And what is entirely possible is someone's maybe found an exploit in one of these plugins that does this sort of thing and is now basically exploiting it to get hundreds of thousands of views and steal YouTube accounts. Because sometimes you'll see YouTube accounts that are stolen or, you know, someone figures out the password to it and they sell it on some like weird forum like null.to or hack forums or something like that. They'll sell it on one of those websites and then you'll start seeing videos that were that are very different from the history of that account and they won't even bother hiding the old videos which is very easy to do um but another thing that usually gives it away is the account logan when it was first discovered and was first spamming um youtube videos with its comments people checked the video on the channel and it was some simple hey welcome to my channel i'm gonna be doing uploads of this kind of stuff uh, subscribe if you want to see it. It was some like 38 second video that just introduces it as a YouTube channel. And that kind of video shouldn't get more than 10 to 20 views, maybe. And that's just from like sharing it with friends or on some sort of uh, account like, um, God damn it, uh, some like Reddit somewhere or something like that. That video shouldn't get a hundred thousand views in 24 hours. There is something very fishy going on. They're probably using the accounts they're stealing for view botting to get uh, monetization as quickly as possible, which obviously they backfired because you know the account doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't seem like. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. Give me one second. That hurt. My sneezes hurt. I am violent when I sneeze. But as you can see, like from other videos, there are screenshots of people getting um, comments, want to be friends, and it's on one of their videos, and it's one of the Logan accounts, and this is even a new username we didn't know about, Call. So it's definitely very strange that this is going on, and it's definitely got to be an exploit of some other kind that people think it might be, but it's actually not. And... One other thing I wanted to go over, and I don't know if I actually have it open in that tab, but I do believe it's something in a two-factor authentication exploit or some sort of uh, just exploit overall with um, like just some sort of authorization thing. So when you like connect your account with something else. And it's from the sound of it, people are found a way to use Discord to do these exploits, but it's not a 100% sure thing. So give me one second. So the reason I think it's actually an exploit of some sort when it comes to two-factor authentication or something like that is because I received this email about 14 hours ago at 4.30 in the morning. I've never played a game made by Blizzard in my life. I think I signed up for a Blizzard account because... Uh, something was free overwatch or something i don't know what games they even make god i can't even remember but um some game of theirs was free so i made an account and that's why tech x exists in the blizzard entertainment um history so 
that's why I think I got this email, but somebody's definitely doing something with two-factor authentication, has found an exploit, and it's possibly universally exploitable um, to the point that they're able to do it on almost anything that has the same style of authorization. So as you can see, this is from Blizzard. It's from no reply at blizzard.com. Um, I have the TechX thing here just in case I have to like open this up, but I shouldn't have to. So as you can see, I got this code and I haven't logged into the account yet, but I have in the past. And there was playtime and a ban on, I think, World of Warcraft? Some game I've never played in my life, and the and it was for like third-party tool use. So I know my password wasn't cracked because every website I'm a member of since I have LastPass has some random characters, letters, numbers, and symbols, 16-character long password that basically no one's going to guess or even brute force. So there's no way they cracked into my Blizzard account that way. There's got to be another exploit. I used to have the same issue with Epic Games. I would get emails nearly every day of somebody requesting a security code to change my password on my Epic account. And I logged into my Epic account to get GTA 5 a couple days ago when it became free and noticed play history on games I've never played. So, and even on top of that, I don't have credit cards in the system saved to these companies. So, and there was no pay history saved there of another person. So it's not like I could exploit them back and like buy games myself. But there's definitely an exploit going around in these systems. And this is just one example um, of two-factor authentication being exploited, whether it's uh, SMS exploits or it's an authorization exploit like I showed you when you install something like TubeBuddy or something else um, like a Discord authentication because you can connect Discord to almost anything anymore. So there's definitely something weird going on. I definitely recommend going to watch um, some Ordinary Gamer's video. He goes in crazy depth about it and it's crazy interesting I highly recommend anybody watch that video that's interested in this side of computing when it comes to interesting exploits as I'll call this so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'm planning on making more I'm about to go buy a new car of some kind for the channel and maybe start making videos with that because I'm about to go also buy GoPros to set up in my garage for while we work on it also, ad spot, I have an Etsy store that I need to update. It's called Auto Life Forever. It's anything and everything car based um, or like car themed. So that's why it's Auto Life Forever. And as you can see, there are some stickers for like uh, the 1320 Legends cars or other cars from elsewhere. There was my Area 51 sticker. That sold pretty well, actually, I think. That's actually like the number one thing that's sold on here. Um, I have six sales I didn't even realize. There's, I went on a sticker bombing spree. Um, there's a bunch of things here for sticker bombing. I am planning on adding more of the car stickers for $250 a piece. Um, the way they work is you select what size you want, $250, $350, or $525. Unfortunately, I have no control over how much the shipping cost. So shipping is generally more than buying the sticker itself. Um, I can't help that. But I am working on some other things, hopefully soon, to throw up here as well. I've just been um, trying to get design ideas. But there's transparent back and there's white back. And for some reason, the transparency ones um, cost a little bit more to print. So that's why they're more expensive. But as you can see, they are very cool stickers. This is an example of the white back. And I think that's an example of the transparent. So you can see the color of the laptop through it. But there, I'm definitely going to have more things coming. I love, I, I might honestly go get an Apple Watch just to buy this band because I freaking love it. It's so cool. So, but uh, I don't have an iPhone, so that would be very pointless for me to do. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I I don't really know what else to say about this whole Logan thing, um, or this whole comment thing in general. It's definitely a huge exploit that companies need to look into with their two-factor authentication and just go from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end, hmm, what to ask you guys? What's your favorite color? Or, and, and or, what's your favorite color? And give me your opinion or thought on this whole wannabe friends exploitive comment thing. Because a lot of people, like I said, they think if you reply to it, something's going to happen to you. I don't think anything happens if you just reply to it. It's something far more severe. And if you reply to it, it just gives them a notification that, hey, this account is um, active. But give me your opinions or thoughts below in the comments and tell me your favorite color. So I'll talk to you guys later. Or, even better, suggest uh, ideas for the shop. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.